Since ABC's Shark Tank premiered in 2009, we have seen hundreds of aspiring entrepreneurs trying their luck to find an investor for their business on the show. Only a relatively small percentage of the items featured eventually turn into success stories, but these 10 Shark Tank deals were definitely home runs. Nate Hall Zapfel came up with the perfect business plan after re-envisioning the belt. His mission belt works without any notches and instead uses a release clasp to keep the strap tight around the waist, guaranteeing wearers that they will never have a too tight or too loose fit. Nate was seeking a $50,000 investment in exchange for a 20% stake of his business when he appeared on Shark Tank in 2013 and his reinvention of the belt convinced Damon, who invested the 50 grand for 37 percent 5% of the company. Mission Belt has reached over $25 million in sales to this day, and Nate and his co-founder Jeff Jensen continue to donate $1 of every belt sold to fund microloans for small businesses in developing countries. In 2009, True Quackenbush and Corey Ward had used their savings to buy a tent and a grill and then set up next to an ice skating rink in Fountain Square in Cincinnati, Ohio to sell grilled cheese and tomato soup. Because the response was so incredible, they soon opened their first store and then their first franchise in Louisville, Kentucky. Looking for help to expand their franchising efforts of Tom and Chi, they came to the Sharks and eventually made a deal with Barbara. In the update, three and a half years after their first appearance on the show, they revealed that their gourmet grilled cheese and tomato soup were now available in 31 locations in 15 states. So in just seven years, they had gone from having just a tent to having a grilled cheese empire. Their sales before the tank were 1.5 million, while they now had $47 million in sales and created over 500 jobs. Unsurprisingly, Tom and Chi is one of Barbara's most successful Shark Tank investments. In Season 8, Tara Brown introduced the sharks to her sleep styler, which are heat-free hair rollers that curl your hair while you sleep. She eventually struck a deal with Lori, who invested the $75,000 for 20% equity that Tara had asked for. Although the sleep styler doesn't have the best ratings on Amazon, for example, the company boasts sales of $72 million to this day, making this another one of Lori's many successful deals on the show. In Season 5, Spencer Quinn and Eric Child stepped in front of the Sharks with a new and innovative idea called Fiberfix. This product is a heavy-duty repair tape targeted to the do-it-yourself handymen and general consumer market as an easy and inexpensive way to make repairs. Asking for $90,000 for 10% equity, the business partners eventually struck a deal with QVC Queen Lori for $120,000 in exchange for 12% equity plus funding for purchase orders. Orders. The company has made $66 million in sales to date, and according to their website, Fiberfix has grown from a single product to an internationally recognized brand with many inventive repair solutions sold in over 30,000 retail locations around the world. Stephen Ford, Brandon Label, and Bruno Ashida Mini met while all working at a San Diego call center where they sold life insurance, and that is where their journey to launching a multi-million dollar beach lifestyle company began. Four years later, the trio appeared on Shark Tank, hoping for a $200,000 investment for 8% of their beach towel business, SandCloud. The trio had previously put every cent they had into their startup, selling basically everything they owned, including some of their furniture, and eating rice and beans for a whole year. They had originally created a beach towel with a pillow attached, but changed course when they realized that no one was interested in their product and ended up developing what has become SandCloud's signature product, a thin, sand-free, and versatile towel made from Turkish cotton that customers can roll up and slip in a bag. The co-founders ended up getting offers from Mark Cuban, Kevin O'Leary, and Robert Herjavec, eventually making a deal with Robert, who invested $200,000 for 15% equity. The company has since added items like water bottles, metal straws, and jewelry to its product line and has made over $25 million in sales, while donating 10% of its profits to organizations that support marine life and clean oceans, including the Marine Conservation Institute and the Surf Rider Foundation. 
Next up is another deal including two sharks, as both Mark and Robert decided to go in on a deal with the creators of Nuts and More in 2013. The company produces nut butters and other healthy products that are high in protein and contain flaxseed, some of them in flavors such as mint chocolate chip or spiced pumpkin pie. After fairly long negotiations, the two sharks struck a deal with Nuts and More co-founders Neil, Peter and Dennis and invested $250,000 for 35% of the company. Cuban later called this one of his favorite investments, saying that he was always looking for healthy foods that can appease his desire for sweets, and it turned out to be a very lucrative investment as well, with the company having more than $30 million in total sales as of 2018 according to Go Banking Rates. Matt Alexander and Mike Cannelly are another duo who struck a deal with Mr. Wonderful in season 7 and made him a pretty happy man. The creators of Aluma Bowl, a motion activated toilet bowl light, were looking for a $100,000 investment in exchange for 15% equity in the business and eventually agreed to give up 25% for 100 grand. Soon after making a deal on Shark Tank, they signed an exclusive distribution contract with Bed Bath and Beyond and then worked on improving Aluma with customized dimming, a stronger motion sensor, and more color options, which led to agreements with Walmart and other vendors to carry that version. While this created some issues, Kevin O'Leary quickly helped them fix the problems, and just one year after appearing on the ABC show, sales of Illumable products had increased from $100,000 to $14 million. While Frank Weston and Connell Banner had no trouble starting a fire the old fashioned way, they were aware of the fact that not everyone learned valuable fire starting skills as a youth and took this to their advantage. They created Instafire, a safe fire starting kit which consists of volcanic rock, wood pellets and paraffin wax, and can produce flames of up to 16 inches in height that will stay lit for up to 30 minutes. The duo were seeking a $300,000 investment for 10% of their company and eventually agreed to give up 30%, striking a deal with Mark and Lori. Instafire were doing $378,000 in sales after appearing on the show in 2016 and ended 2019 with an incredible $5 million in sales. The company plans to expand internationally in the future to roll out Instafire ready logs to cut down on deforestation in still developing countries. In Season 7, Eric Hopperstad and Brian Brosh entered the tank, seeking an investment of $80,000 in exchange for 10% of their company, PRX Performance, which produces weight training equipment that takes up just inches of valuable home space. While not all of the sharks were convinced that this would be a good deal, Kevin O'Leary decided to offer $80,000 in exchange for 20% of the business, adding that they would pay him back in 20% increments of their profit. Since he appeared to be the only shark believing in them, Eric and Brian accepted the offer and it didn't take long for PRX performance to take off. Today, the company has done more than $19 million in sales and Mr. Wonderful can add this deal to his list of successes. Sean Patel from Las Vegas had grown up in his parents' budget hotel and gone to public schools in the nation's worst school district but had still managed to get a perfect SAT score and had ended up getting into the best schools in the country and received around half a million dollars in scholarship offers. Because he had only achieved all that thanks to SAT coaching, he wanted to help other students to be just as successful and had developed an educational program that helped students achieve their dreams, whether it was getting into their favorite college or getting the scholarships they wanted to. Patel was seeking $250,000 for a 10% stake in his company and ended up making a deal with Mark Cuban who gave him the $250,000 for 20%. During the update half a year after the episode had aired, Patel shocked viewers when he revealed that in the year before Shark Tank, he had done $600,000 in sales, while he had done a whopping $4 million in the six months since. Thanks to his deal with a shark, his company Prep Expert was on the way to becoming one of the largest test prep providers in the US. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.